This is Down Phoenix, and today we are reviewing Wizards Tourney, which is a new party game that's available now on Steam and will also be coming to the PlayStation 4. Is this party going to be a blast or is it a total dud? Let's find out. Wizards Tourney is a competitive multiplayer party game where a mix of up to four human or computer players will compete in a variety of minigames individually or in a tournament setup where scores are tallied to determine the victor. This game is published and developed by A Bonfire of Souls, a pretty new studio from Spain. I'd like to give a big thank you and shout out for the team for providing a review key for me to check this out. Wizard's Tourney starts off with a short story explaining the events of how this tournament came to be. A powerful elite force takes over the old tournament and a rogue group of wizards from all around decide to start their own tournament to show off who is the best wizard in all of the lands. The story serves as nothing more than a brief introduction into the world of the game and it would have been nice to see it fleshed out more. To participate in the tournament, you get your choice of one of 12 different types of wizards, ranging from a classic Merlin style to a wicked witch, a genie, necromancer, and so much more. All the wizards play the same with no advantages or disadvantages and serve only as a cosmetic choice. After choosing your wizards, you are given the opportunity to explore the arena where you can choose to play one of six different mini games with the other wizards or go to the center where you can begin the tournament. You also have the option to establish the number of rounds that you wish to play just below. The six mini games on tap include a frantic tag game called Pumpkin King. Then we have Mad Lab, which is a four-way soccer game filled with crazy physics and traps. Ice Slide is a simple game of balance where you try to push other players off of an iceberg. Ray Frey has players on a platform trying to collect as many orbs as possible while avoiding projectiles. Dragon Explosion tasks players with stealing eggs from a fire-breathing dragon while dodging obstacles. And Pot of Potion conjures up a hearty dose of alchemy and trickery. The graphics and presentation are simple but well done. There aren't any bloated or confusing menus and the UI is kept nice and clean. The areas for each minigame have a great cartoony appearance and stand out amongst each other, yet they still feel like they belong in the setting. The animations are basic but they lend well to the overall look. The only real complaint that I have here is that sometimes a camera gets zoomed out a little too far in some of the games, so unless you're playing on a large screen you may easily lose sight of what's going on. As is the case for similar party games, they live or die based on the quality and variety of the minigames. With the notable exception of Mad Lab, I feel that Wizards Tourney does an excellent job on the quality front. Each of the minigames feel well balanced and fine tuned and have very addictive qualities to them. I particularly felt that the Pumpkin game was the strongest of the lineup since the basic premise of Tag with the use of various pumpkins and gourds as weapons kept me hooked and even outside of the tourney I dived in for a few separate games of this. Ice Slide has arguably the easiest to learn mechanics and is a great starting point for newcomers yet has just enough complexities on its own to also hook you in. Pot of Potion can be a lot of fun with friends but the CPU is very challenging and vicious here. Dragon Explosion is a frantic game that goes by almost in an instant but has a lot of variables to mix it up. Ray Frey is a game that at first doesn't have much going on for it but throwing in the complexities of using your orbs that you need to stun enemies, as well as avoiding the lasers, made it a riot to play. Mad Lab is the only weak minigame in the package, and that's just because it doesn't feel as fun, simple, or refined as the rest. The physics are very wild and unforgiving. Aiming your energy sphere isn't as precise as I would have liked, and the AI is ridiculous on their skill level. It seems that I could only win by things going right for me, and with the way the power-ups and traps are set, it just feels a little too random. And though I feel the minigames have a lot of great qualities to them overall, I feel there could have perhaps been at least a few more to really round out the package. I think six games is perfect for the tourney, but if we had some more games added, we could allow ourselves the ability to choose which games to put in the tourney or just randomly select them. Also, some options to tweak some of the rules and settings for each of the minigames could really add a lot of depth to these, even if they decide not to add any more games. The sound and music are pretty good but sparse. 
Musical loops are fairly short and loop frequently, but fortunately the minigames are short enough that it doesn't get too annoying doing an occasional play session. There are some extras available to learn more about the other wizards to give them a little flavor, but outside of this and some animations during the character selection or victory screens, there's just not a whole lot going on here. Overall, if you're a fan of party games, I certainly can recommend Wizards Tourney. You can use services like Parsec to play online if you have difficulties getting friends to come over, and whenever it launches on the PlayStation 4, you can consider using SharePlay to play with friends. There is also a neat feature where you can share a controller with another player, so two players can use one controller. This works out quite well since all the games on hand only use one analog stick and one button. The game works best with human players, but the AI offers a decent challenge to make things interesting. Due to the lack of available minigames though, I'm not sure if it's the kind of game I would recommend for those that prefer to play alone, unless you really enjoy playing simple but addictive minigames. Wizard's Tourney is a 7.5 out of 10 overall, as it is a very polished game with top tier gameplay, but gets dragged down a bit by the sparseness of the offering, as well as the weakness of the Mad Lab game. Let me know what you think about this game and be sure to check out the top pin comment for links to buy. Stay tuned for this game's trailer and with that, Down Phoenix out.